Suppose you're playing a song on your accordion and somebody comes up to you and says, you know what, I like that song, I like to sing with it, but that's just the wrong key for me. What do you do? You're reading in one key and they want you to play in another key. Well, on the bass side it's easy. You just move to the new position and the patterns remain the same. But what about on the treble side, the keyboard? Well, you know, a lot of pianists and organists in churches don't like playing E because of all the sharps. They'd rather play E flat. Now, the sharps in the key of E are on the second, third, sixth, and seventh tones of the key. So now they're going to get rid of all those sharps and replace them with the flat. They're still going to be playing the E when they see an E, etc., etc. But now they're going to have the flats, E flat, A flat, and B flat, which correspond to 1, 4, and 5. They're going to do that, and then they don't even have to move their position any. That was pretty easy. Now suppose you're playing an E flat and somebody comes along and says, that's just too high for me. It is right there, now you're in the key of C. Move your hand to the C position, still reading E, but C has no flats. So forget about the flats and go ahead and play it. All right, but suppose it was written in C, you've been playing in C, and somebody comes along, that's too low for me. And it turns out they want to play it in E flat. Well, you're reading in C, so think of the numbers. E flat, A flat, and B flat correspond to 1, 4, and 5. What's 1, 4, and 5 in C? It is C, F, and G. So every time you see a C, an F or a G, play it in flat. And after you've moved your position, go for the black keys. They will be there. This rule applies to whatever key you're going to. If you were going to play F, you have one flat and, and the fourth tone. So if you were reading from C, you play F as flat. And don't forget to go for the black key. And if you were playing an E flat, the fourth is already a flat, A flat. And just forget about the other two flats. And go ahead and play. Oh, got to get in that position first. Same if you want to play in G, same thing. But now you're going to have one sharp. So remember that sharp is in the seventh tone. Whichever tone, uh, whichever the seventh tone falls in, and whatever key you're in, you're going to play that as sharp. Go for the black key. If you move your position like I did the last time, it will be there. And as a matter of fact, playing the key of uh, G is almost going to be like playing in the key of C. Because you just have that one, one sharp. But there will be a sharp. I'm playing my seventh low here. And that's what it's going to be. You can play any key to any other key. Just follow that rule. Now, what about accidental? Remember where they're at? If, if you have an accidental, you play a natural tone, it goes flat. The new key you're in, it's the same. You play a natural uh, key and it goes flat, go flat. If you're in a position where there's no black key between, go to that next white key that's below it. And the reverse is true for going in the sharp direction. Now you can practice by starting with your relative keys. Say you're in the key of C, that would be uh, F and G. You're only going to add one flat or one sharp. If you're in the key of F, that would be B flat and C. Again, you're only going to have to add one flat or sharp to change going in the directions of a fourth or a fifth. And then start playing keys that have more flats in them or more sharps in them. And as you feel comfortable with it, 
And before you know it, you'll be able to play in any key while reading in any other key. You have fun doing this now.